have decided to extend the IUI camp for the month of June as well. Patients have been extremely happy and we have been able to give them good success rates due to which we have decided to increase the time for this IUI camp. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Swarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Does having the right amount and uh, levels of progesterone in your blood help in increasing uh, your pregnancy rates? So let's look at what progesterone does. Before we do that, we need to understand how hormones are being released and balanced in your body, more in your reproductive system for proper functioning of the ovaries. So there are two important hormones that I'm going to be talking about, the estrogen and progesterone. Now estrogen has the main function in the follicular phase where it helps in not only just the development of the egg, it helps it to mature, it helps it to grow. It also helps in the changes in the endometrium. Now, estrogen helps in changes by making it grow. It makes the lining grow for the next, for a future pregnancy. Expecting that there is a potential pregnancy, it helps the endometrium grow. Now, this is called the follicular phase. And in the next phase, which is called the luteal phase, the uh, progesterone is released. You have to understand that in the luteal phase, initial days the progesterone level is not very high and it's after one week only that the peak is there after which it drops you can also see that during the menstrual phase the progesterone levels have come down so it's very very critical to understand the importance of taking progesterone levels into condition at the proper stage you can see here that during the follicular phase the progesterone levels are not very high there is an increase only after the release of the egg and therefore, this level is indicative of a, a phase where the embryo can implant. At a stage where the periods are about to come, the progesterone level goes down. So, it's very critical to understand when you took the test. If they are not taken at the right time, they could indicate low or high and they could indicate a lot of conditions, uh, some of uh, which are luteal phase defect or thin endometrium. All these things can be misinterpreted if progesterone levels are done at the wrong phase of a menstrual cycle. Also understand that if you uh, are looking at some data which says that there are foods that improve progesterone level, there are supplements that improve progesterone level. Yes, there are a lot of foods, especially omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, there are a lot of uh, minerals and vitamins that can help in improving progesterone. However, these are not corroborated by data. Clinical data is still not uh, sufficiently present to be able to support uh, facts about the foods that I have said. Also, vitamin D is known to help in uh, increase in progesterone of the uterus, which is also under cl clinical trials and no, we cannot say it with a lot of conviction that vitamin D helps in uh, improving the progesterone uh, levels in the body, especially when it is needed. Vitamin D has other important features, but this is something that needs to be proven yet. So if you are having a uh, progesterone deficiency or what is called as luteal phase defect which is caused during the luteal phase where the egg is released and uh, the progesterone is expected to be released from the the released egg the spot from where the egg is released that spot releases progesterone if you're having a problem with that and which is causing your endometrium to not grow to the right size with proper blood supply you would want to understand more about this please feel free to contact us at Ziva Fertility. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you. Thank you.